In today's video, we are going to be going in depth about my top four ways that you can prepare that I'm preparing as well for Q4 when it comes to publishing books on Amazon and Audible rolling into the end of this year. Let's do it. What is going on guys? My name is Dane. If you're new here on this channel, I talk all about self-publishing books online, online entrepreneurship, and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and drop a like on the video. So I'm sure you already saw the intro to this video, but in this video, I'm going over four of the main ways that I'm preparing for Q4 for my publishing business in terms of publishing books on Amazon KDP and on Audible. So before I get into that though, I want to make sure if you are new to publishing and you're looking into how to get into publishing, learn all about it and get your first book onto Amazon KDP, I have a free 100% free 11 hour long course that's available in the description of this video down below that you can enroll in. It's 100% free and there's no, no strings attached. It'll teach you how to make your first book, get it published onto Amazon all 100% free in at least a month or less. So if that interests you, make sure you click the link down below and get enrolled in Publisher Startup while it's free. So without further ado, let's get into the talk of this video, which are the four main ways that I'm preparing for Q4 and how you can do it too for your Amazon KDP and Audible business. So let's jump into my computer. So as you can see on my screen here, we got the four main ways that I'm preparing for publishing during Q4 this year. So let's be a four step video, got the slides here. Let's get right into it. So for this video, we're gonna be learning four main methods to prepare yourself for Q4. And then we're gonna discuss how to properly implement them into your publishing business. So let's dive into it. First things first, this is number one. And in my opinion, definitely one of the most important things amongst the last one in this video that I'm gonna talk about as well. And for the most part, this entire step here, Number one is what is gonna be taught in the advanced publishing course that I'm currently creating. It's gonna be available in one month and it's gonna tell you how to take that 1K to 2K per month publishing business that you have right now and basically jumpstart that into a 10K and beyond per month business by building a brand and establishing yourself as a full-on publisher. So now that I got that out of the way, let's jump into what number one is and how why building and establishing a brand is so crucial going into Q4 for this year. So first things first, turning my books into the highest quality possibly that they can possibly be. So before you can build a brand around your publishing business, you need to make sure that your books are high quality. If you have low quality books, then that's just going to crumble and your foundation isn't there. First things first is making sure your books are high quality so you can build a brand around them. So second wave titles are what I like to call things. So in Publisher Startup, I'm gonna teach you how to make um, titles that rank with Amazon's algorithm and everything like that, all that good stuff. But once you figure out what your main keywords are gonna be, I call this new method second wave titles, which is basically a professional looking title to put onto your book and really sell it that way and build a brand around the title rather than just relying on Amazon's SEO and algorithm and all that kind of stuff. Another thing is going to be a high quality cover and spending a little bit more than $10 on a Fiverr cover. We're going in, uh, we're investing in ourselves and investing in high quality covers, um, top tier ghostwriters. So investing a little bit more money into writing and making sure that the writing of our books is extra high quality. The last thing that I, well, actually not the last thing here. The second last thing is a Belfort like book description. So we are selling that book to the book description because obviously when someone lands on our book, after obviously seeing the cover, the first thing you see is the book description. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing on my customers' needs, wants, and desires, and the pain points. So I'm gonna be hitting those with, that kind of pairs in with the book description, making sure that book description hits all those points so that we can better sell our books and really, really make as much money as possible. Next thing I'm focusing on for Q4, um, that it's still in relation to building a brand, is building a top tier dream team, okay? So outsourcing jobs, I'm not great at to contractors who are experts at them. Okay. So at some point you're gonna get so overwhelmed. Um, and I've already experienced this that you got to outsource some things to people who are even better at those kind of jobs to do them within your publishing business and outsourcing jobs that I no longer have uh, the time for, uh, frees up time that I'm actually good at, or for me to do jobs that I'm actually good at and require 100% of my focus. So that's that's one of my main goals going into Q4 is outsourcing jobs that I no longer um, really have time for to people who are experts at them so I can focus on things that are more important to me within my publishing business. Um, another thing is creating an unbreakable team culture and using it as a foundation for success. If you have 
if you treat your contractors and everything terrible, then you're obviously not going to have a very profitable team. Uh, they're not going to give you the best results you possibly can. So you make sure you treat people, uh, your contractors especially, with respect. Another thing that ties into building a brand is going to be creating an ecosystem apart from Amazon. Okay, so. Building a very powerful automated email sequence is the first thing that I'm going to be focusing on. I've already implemented into my business a few months ago, and it's really, really powerful if you can get the automation sequence set up correctly. Um, basically, mine consists of 17 emails, and it walks people through my entire sales process, including asking them to get into my Facebook group, which is basically another thing, is building a Facebook presence and building a branded page, author pages, brand group, uh, and also advertising these things through Facebook ads and obviously organically through my books that I sell. So basically taking people from the Amazon platform and bringing them onto my platform, my ecosystem, so I can sell my own products to them at my own prices and etc. Finally, another part that builds into um, branding is building a website. So basically you can sell more of your books on your own website. I can sell more additional products, services, affiliate products, Additional exposure, so things like blogs, posts, or blog posts, author pages, um, et cetera. There's so many things you can do with the website. I'm not gonna go in depth on all of them right now. The advanced course does go in depth on all those things, but for now, I'll leave it at this so you guys have a general idea of what I am focusing on for Q4 when it comes to building a brand. So number two on this list of four things is targeting trends, okay? So on top of my branded books that I already have that are established and doing well, and I'm focused on making high quality versions of them, working my way into Q4, I'm also focused on targeting trends so I can actually hit those trends and make the most out of them during Q4. Okay, so trends can be worldly events that are, this, are time sensitive. So for example, um, the pandemic a few months ago, that, was, that can be considered a trend. Um, lots of people were buying um, books based around that kind of thing, like survival books, been prepping books so that was a trend that was time sensitive um or they can be holidays like halloween thanksgiving christmas so basing your books around those kind of things is is, is what i'm going to be incorporating into my business and really making sure that i make the most out of those kind of things um and also you can hire a va to make some low content books uh focused around these trends so i've already done this i have a few vas working on low content books that are targeting um trends and holidays like halloween thanksgiving christmas i uh, just really um, creating a full stack of books for once Q4 comes around. Another thing is creating DIY style and long form books to really get the most out of these trends. So on top of the low content books, of course, I'm making DIY and long form books that are going to target these trends and uh, holidays as well. Finally, making additions that are focused on different holidays. So some like maybe if I have like a cookbook or something, it can be the, um, Halloween edition? No, more like the Christmas edition cookbook um, or something like that just to really target those kind of trends. So number three on this list is creating series and bundles out of my books, okay? So series are books targeting a similar keyword with different versions of each book within that keyword. So I could have a six book series um, that all targets one main niche, but within that niche, there's different keywords that um, I can target with different books and then have them in a big series so that more people will see all the books lined up when they click on the series. Um, creating four to six book series uh, focused around the trends that I just talked about. So example, you can make tr uh, books about the trends and incorporate series into there. So you have the Christmas edition, the Halloween edition, the Thanksgiving edition, and like that's already three books right there. The more high quality books I have ready, the better my chances are that they will stick and start to garner high amounts of sales and high rankings with the Amazon algorithm. So I mentioned before that I was focused on trying to deviate away from relying on the algorithm so much, but when it comes to these trends things, I definitely want to make sure that I'm on happy terms with the Amazon algorithm when it comes to selling my books, um, the trending books, for example, and the series and the editions and stuff like that. This also allows me to create a bunch of bundles. So a six book series means I can have like two, three or two book bundles made out of it. So of those six books, I could make a three book bundle out of three of them and then a three book bundle out of the other three. So the possibilities really turn endless when you start to really get involved in creating series and creating bundles. And like, for example, if I had a six book bundle or a six book series, I can make <clears throat> three two book bundles out of there. And that's three extra books on top of the original six books. So nine books in total, um, just from that one series of books. 
this is getting confusing, but that is basically one of my plans for Q4 and really just taking advantage of every single angle of a trend and a niche that I possibly can with these uh, series and models. Finally, number four is perfecting my launch strategy. So arguably this is one of the most crucial things to focus on, especially for Q4. I talked about this in my last YouTube video, but I couldn't help but mention it in this because it is so, so crucial. And having an effective launch is, is really the foundation of having a successful book. Um, a powerful launch is what separates a side income publisher from a full-time income publisher. Um, that's just my opinion, but if you don't know how to have a good launch, you're not gonna make very much money off your book. Nowadays, writing the algorithm is, Amazon algorithm for that matter, is a statement you need to get familiar with. And the most powerful and profitable way to generate sales on Amazon for your book is to be on good terms with the Amazon algorithm. If you can rank organically and also pair that with effective Amazon ads, then you are gonna be doing very well, especially during Q4. If you can manage to have a powerful launch during the first month of a new book's life, you'll be in good hands with the algorithm. Simple as that. This means Amazon uh, will show your keyword to more potential buyers without you having to pay a dime. So like I said, ranking organically. Um, given the mind-blowing amount of customers on Amazon, you can only imagine uh, how well your book uh, will do once it's ranking on the first or second page. Like if you're ranking organically in a first or second page for your top search term, then you're gonna absolutely kill it. And a good launch is what gets you to this point. In my opinion, the launch phase consists of four key parts that I went over in the last video, so I'm just gonna graze over them this time. Uh, if you want to actually check out more in depth, I'll leave a link to the last video down below. But anyways, part one is preparing your book and promoting it to pre-reviewers so they can read it before it goes live and leave reviews on the first few days once it is live. Part two is running a free book promotion for two to three days right when your book goes live to get people into your ecosystem. So like I talked about before, your brand, everything like that. Uh, reading your book, leaving more reviews, and also submitting the free book to free book promotion websites and services to get an even better boost. So it's phase two or part two. Part three is once the book is done, the free book promotion, and you've accumulated some reviews, begin running ads to like both the versions so your book, your paperback and your ebook to start getting consistent sales on your book and start really uh, showing the algorithm that your book is worthy of ranking higher because you can generate sales for your book and they gotta be consistent. Uh, part four is having multiple paid book promotions set up with book promotion websites to boost your sales even more during the first few weeks of your launch. So this is really, really, really broken down, really simplified, um, simplified simplified <laughs> compared to, uh, I, I should, I, I go more in depth in the last video, but in my uh, advanced program that I'm making right now, I have a full on lesson that talks about your book launch phase, but I just want to explain things right now. So you have an idea for what I am focusing on to make the most out of Q4 this year. So those are my four main things that I'm doing to prepare for Q4 this year. Number one being building a brand um, so I can build an ecosystem outside of Amazon and really start to sell my own products to my customers and build a customer base um, that doesn't just rely on Amazon. Number two was targeting trends and making like special editions, targeting holidays, stuff like that. Number three was creating series and or, and or bundles, um, creating bundles out of those series and just making sure I can get every single angle of the Amazon search terms that I'm trying to rank for. And then number four was obviously perfecting my launch strategy and making sure that I can get my books ranking organically on the Amazon algorithm on top of my already Amazon ads that are ranking my books. So. Those are the four main ways that I am preparing for Q4 this year. If you have some different ways that you know, make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you're interested in joining Publisher Startup, as you can see on the screen here, it is 100% free. It is 11 hour course. It's not a free training. You can join that down below. It's in the description down there. And I look forward to seeing some of you guys sign up for the course. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And this video is effectively over. I will see you in next week's video. Peace.